Dun dun dun. Dun dun dun. Hello, Earth people. Skolo here. I'm getting better, so that's good to hear. I guess that's good to hear. I've been chilling out. Um, as you can tell, I am wearing my sickness gear, so I did not go to work today. I was sending out my supervisor, practically told me not to. So, my head is clearing up, and by Monday, I should be fit to fight. Which is good, I'm looking forward to it. Um, let's see, been arguing with people about Avatar, and... No, no one needs to hear that. I understand that it's one of those love-hate movies, sort of like how Titanic was. Um, and there's really no point in arguing it. Uh, as the British would say, it's all swings and roundabouts. Whichever side of the argument you decide to take, it just goes around and around and around. And because it's all opinion, it doesn't really matter. So, unless someone really wants to bring it. Can't see me doing the... Uh, I, can't, I don't care enough to do that. Like, unless anyone cares to bring it, I'm not going to discuss it any further than mentioning. Um, in my discussions with GGK Paladin, we have, of course, broached the concept of morality. And how can one possibly have morality without a, a personal god or a personal lawgiver who will uh, give you the carrot of say, you, uh, eternal life if you do good, and hit you with the stick of eternal peril should you not do the right thing. Well, according to my little notebook here, um, how I look at it is morality is prime first and foremost applied empathy. Uh, I can assume from my own perceptions and the fact that other people seem to be sufficiently like me that there may be a correlation that things I like, they might like, and things I don't like, they don't like. That gives me positive and negative rules for morality. I personally don't like being hit in the face. It uh, really doesn't do anything for me. So I generally will not go around hitting other people in the face. That's a negative rule, right? Uh, however, I do understand that some people do enjoy being hit in the face. So if someone asks me to hit them in the face, I'll be perfectly fine with hitting them in the face, so long as everyone's cool with it. Um, that's a negative rule, something not to do. Uh, in terms of a positive rule, well, let's see, I like hugs. I'm actually a very huggy person. Um, I'm something of a snuggle whore. And other people, you know, and so I would assume that other people generally like hugs. However, I also understand that a lot of people are rather distant and don't like hugs. So I will ask first, and if they say yes, then they will get a hug. So, um, general, uh, so in places where, you know, or I like, I like eating, I like food. So if I see someone who is starving, I should give them food. There you go. Moral rule based, you know, positive moral based on uh, nothing more than empathy. Um, the fact that people's emp that empathy is uncertain and that people's opinions differ, and um, hence you ask. And as long as you're not honestly trying to be a jerk face, you know, generally work out pretty well. Um, no, but you don't have any absolute rules of morality if you don't have a personal god, that's why, that's why all the atheists are bad. Well, it is true, there is no scientifically true, self-contained, and a priori way for thinking animals to treat one another, which is basically all that morality is. Um, that being said, uh, good and evil are theoretical constructs which have no meaning outside of human definition. What, is, what was good to, say, an Aztec priest of the 13th century tearing the beating heart out of someone uh, to make sure that the sun would continue to rise for the next year is obviously a little bit different from what a Lutheran priest of the same century in Germany would, th would have thought to be good. Uh, that good is relative... You know, th this is a fact of life. Um, good, evil, what is right, what is wrong, primarily individual and social constructs developed to make sure that uh, intelligent animals can treat each other uh, sufficiently well to maintain a society without killing each other most of the time. 
that's as far as I see it. Because you look at the different rules the different gods have passed down, some of them are very basic. Don't chill, don't steal, you know, don't don't steal, don't cheat, don't kill, don't sleep with another one's wife unless the socioeconomic contract works a little bit differently, so things like of that nature generally make you know, make sense. Those are what are needed to maintain this cohesive culture. And then uh, the details, like, never kill anything at all, ever, not even a fly, down to, oh, you see those people over there? Remember what I said about not killing? You have, uh, permission. Go kill them. I said so. Um, yeah, it, or, or a difference from, okay, you know what, generally you shouldn't go around killing people, but we need to kill this person and take their heart out of their, out of their, chest while they're screaming bloody murder because we really really do need the sun to continue to rise it's kind of important to us there you go um all of these rules are you know come from supernatural figures and uh other than what are necessary to you know the very basics to keep a society going the details make you know they don't match up there's no meshing um so, there goes the whole universal concept. Now, I'm not a proper moral relativist because all societies require so, you know, society-wide standards to apply in order to function effectively. So you can make judgments on whether this is good or bad for the society. Uh, as globalization continues and we become more of a human society, maybe not a human individual monoculture, I certainly do hope that never happens, but it's enough of a society that we interact, uh, we'll, we'll obviously need universal rules to cover that. So, at that point, you can't use um, comparative morality to say that this individual thinks that, you know, has a different moral code and is therefore acceptable uh, if that person is completely out of whack with the greater society they operate in. Uh, once you have a human society going, that, that'll become even more so, and what rules you do have established more or less will constitute that universal morality that everyone's looking for. Um, let's see, the next thing I'll probably talk about, not tonight, because I'm at about 7 minutes and 30 seconds, will be actually a preview. Um, evil being the absence of good. Uh, and that wonderful little proof that all the, uh, all the, the crazy theists mind, um, attribute to Einstein, even though he never said it. Um, and how I will go ahead and disprove that. Anyway, despite the fact that there is no objective, universal good and evil, as far as I'm concerned, um, be good to one another as best you can, uh, don't be assholes, and uh, treat people more or less like you would want to be treated. It's that simple, really. Oh, and don't kill indigenous people for the land they stand on. Put a mine a mile away, dig down and then to the left a little bit, and steal it from underneath them. Yes, I know it'll cost a little bit more in the short term, but it'll be a lot less expensive than all the reparations, and the lost business, and the uh, PR campaigns, and the legal fees, and all that other stuff when you are eventually found out, and you will be, and history has shown you will, you will be considered to be in the wrong. 